Hello, we seem a bit crooked today. And you're a bit higher up. I don't know what I've done. I'm no good at this. Um, so I was just having um, another tidy upstroke clear out. Um, and I came across something which I forgot I had, which I thought is another good tip if, you want, if you're looking to source art affordably for um, your own collection or for reselling. And that's artists' portfolios. Quite often in auction and sometimes on eBay, um, you'll get like a folder of art, of original drawings, whether it's an art student or um, a collection from the estate clearance of an artist. And, um, you know, they're not named artists or anything um, most of the time. Some of them are professional artists, some of them are just hobbyists. But within that, within their portfolios, you can find some really lovely art which you can um, sell as is or you can frame. You know, if you have a booth at an emporium or you do regular antique sales, if you frame a few of them up, you, you can sell them because it doesn't matter that they're not by named artists at the level that I trade at and I imagine lots of you trade at, you know, what are we talking? Um, 20 to 50 dollars, um, a little bit more. Um, people buy a picture, will spend that much on a picture because they like the subject. And the fact that it is an original piece of art and nobody else would have it, well, it just adds a little bonus to it. But don't get, and when you deal in art and you look for art, don't get hung up on the fact that nobody knows who the artist is. If it's an original um, drawing or pastel sketch or whatever, then um, uh, people will be pleased to have it. Let me show you a few. So this, I, I wish I could tell you where they came from, but you know, some of the stuff in this house I bought so long ago. I'm terrible. I'll, I'll go out to an auction or something, uh, really get excited to find something and, and, to, and to buy it. And then I come home and I just put it down the side of a cabinet to keep it out of the way and then um, forget all about it till I have a clear out five years later. So um, this is an example. So this was a little stash of um, original art that I got at some point. So um. Some nice plan. This this is signed actually. So this is a place called Star Cross in Derby, um, by somebody called Tony Spear in 1979. Now do you know what? <laughs> I'm really probably going to show my art knowledge up, and I'll just say an artist who's really well known. And I'm just like, oh, it's by um, Vincent Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but here we. I mean, that's a that's a lovely. It looks like pastels actually pastels and it's very good very good but um so what did this stash cost me you know i'm i'm a bit tight really when it comes to buying bulk things probably 20 or 30 quid and you'd get that for one of them you know so this is what i'm saying look out for if you want to make a little bit of money um look out for artist portfolios and stacks of sketches which aren't framed and stuff there's that one Nice little one there of um, people walking by the pond in the country. No name on this one. Actually, the names could, of course, be under. But if it's... You see, I'm also wondering whether I've mixed up these piles. Because um, that doesn't look like Tony's work. Although it's a different medium, so maybe maybe it is. But again, it's a, it's a nice um, countryside scene. Who do we have here? The castle in Pembroke, so somebody sat down with their art kit one day in 1978. Did a nice, that's an ink actually. So that's an ink sketch coloured in. I mean, they're very nice pieces. Um, kind of like a, a beachy one there. Oh, and there's some smaller ones too. Now this does look like it could be Tony, but it's just like a page out of somebody's um, a sketchbook, you know, they go in and, and they enjoy painting outside and so on a Sunday they go out with their easel and they're confident. I'm an artist, I'd never be confident enough to sit down and um, sketch, sketch something in the open air with people walking past. Oh yes, look at this. Again, crunching at cornflakes. I love that, that um, Gosh, it's even two bits of 
the cornflake box stuck together. Look at that, you see, because some artists are so skint, they don't even have enough money for materials. And here we are, painted on a cornflake packet. It's great. I'm, do you know what? It's wonderful. I say wonderful so much when I edit um, my videos. I think I can't say wonderful again, but it is wonderful. <laughs> so, oh yes. Right, I need your help. I need your help because I was so thrilled to find these. Um, so they're, um, what do you call it? Um, ink sketches. I mean, he, he's like a cartoonist, right? Or she, the artist. There's this one, there's this one. I love this one. Just such deft lines. And I love the movement of the little dog and stuff. In fact, I'm gonna, um, I want to know who this is. They're not signed, nothing on the back, but this person has to be a professional cartoonist or something, don't they? I mean, look at the face of this woman, right? Have you seen that before? She looks familiar, doesn't she? Um, have another look at these both. I, I really want to find out who it is. There's no signature, there's not even any initials. They're literally torn out, torn out of the sketch pad. And I am convinced that they're by somebody who's been published a lot. I mean, that they're too good. I, I love them. Right. I knew I had these, I just didn't know where, and now I found them. So I'm gonna put them somewhere else and lose them for another five years. Um, what else have we got here? So again, just a nice, lots of nice little um, paintings of um, churches. Oh, this is Tony Spear again. Gonna look him up, East Morling, more. Um, and this one is curious, an Italian garden. This is, I mean, I can see this without my eyeglass. This is a, an original watercolor, but this is so professionally done. But of course that, could be drawn on with somebody you know who's amazing at lettering um and it was presumably framed at one point i mean the the mount is really discolored but that's so nice i've got another one hang on so when i'm talking about portfolio i've totally filmed this in the wrong corner haven't i because i haven't left myself much room but this is what you're looking out for in some cases they don't all look like this especially the older ones but if you're <laughs> sorry it's just a black screen but um if you see anything like this in an auction house or even in a thrift store you know you never know you might think it's just an empty portfolio open it up because it could be full of art now how am i going to do this hang on ah oh my word Look at these. Gosh, this does have a name. Jean Chalfont, 1999. Or um, looks a bit your might but Jean Chalfont. <laughs> Jean Chalfont, let's say it's Jean Chalfont. Do you know, is it, is it probably a fake? No, it won't be. Wow, look. Look at that shadow. Gosh, these are original um, pastel drawings. Wow. Excuse me while I fall in love. Gosh, I'm gonna put this on the wall. Do you love it? It's amazing. Same artist again. Oh my word, aren't I a terrible person to have bought these and then just left them languishing behind the bookcase? <sighs> I need help, don't I? I need, s oh my God, it's, an am it's amazing. What am I gonna do with them all? Don't tell me to sell them, I wanna keep them. <laughs> um, I g I'm gonna look at those properly later. I'm gonna, wow. A bit of abstraction there. 
not really my thing. Which way up would you hang it? <laughs> That looks quite student-y, really, but what do I know? I, I don't actually have any knowledge about abstract art. Um, don't have much knowledge about any art, in all fairness. Um, just uh, a kind of paint sketch of a countryside name. Edwin Hunter, political cartoonist, what? Do you think that means that the... I'm going to Google him. Right. Can't find anything. I'm going to... If I, I'll have a proper sit down when I finish filming. If I find anything, I'll put it up here. Um, it's kind of exciting because I, I would love to know who that is. Um, where were we? Um... Okay, just some portraits. Um, gosh, using both sides of the paper. These were my, maybe it's a student. Hey, that he's cool. Very nice. Some fig. Oh, another name. Leonard Fuller from St. Ives of his wife. nice isn't it I think you know these sketches you're not gonna get much money for them but do you know what I'd hang that on my wall that's really lovely um, uh, here's where this is here's some of the um, original art for my card company do you know I run a card the reason I have all this is because I run a card company um, where I'll put a link and you can have a look where I find vintage images and turn them into greeting cards and they're currently all one pounds each so you should go and have a look there's hundreds of them um I do this card and this is a page from a French fashion magazine from the 1920s called La Vie Parisienne and it's just given me a very good idea for another video so we'll do that very soon um so artist portfolio you know don't shy away from looking in art portfolios any unsigned work, if I don't think everything I've shown you today is suitable for resale, it's certainly suitable if you want some nice original art on your wall. But um, certainly five or six of the things I showed you, especially those lovely paintings at the beginning of the villages, they're very saleable. I mean, we're not talking, we're not going to charge people £100 for them. Just, you know, 20 quid, 30 quid, the whole, this whole pile, well, this is two piles actually so but i mean like i say I, I wouldn't i'm not the kind of person that spends like 80 quid on a pile of stuff um although i did today <laughs> well this was a few years ago i'm getting slightly more confident now okay i'm gonna carry on clearing the house out but basically look for art um where other people aren't looking for it and you never know what you might find i'll see you very soon